careful when you say you're fat or not fat. Some will be happy, some will be insulted. <laughs> Americans are very hospitable, but within ours. Americans love their privacy. Americans could be very informal. Your professors could be in blue jeans and want you to call them John or Mary. In other countries, you use umbrella when it's hot. In the US, they want it to be dark <laughs> under the sun. You have to have eye contact with people when you talk with them. And don't stare at people when you look at them. Just look at them, but don't stare. Women, in some societies, don't touch men. In the U.S., you have to have firm handshake. Smoking in the U.S. is prohibited in buildings, especially in Illinois. You have to go out of buildings like 15 feet away. And you have to be 18 years old. Don't touch people unnecessarily. In some cultures, we love touching people. Don't sit beside somebody if there are other seats available. In elevator, go as far as you can from other people. Don't stand near them. When you're with your friends, don't use your cell phone. Like, why are you even with your friends? If somebody gives you a gift, you have to open the gifts in front of them. When you are saying yes, no, don't shake your head, they're confused. Just no. Okay? There, American flags everywhere. There's no bargaining like in other countries. You don't bargain. Fixed prices. People actually go to churches here. There's so much junk food left and right up and down. Many stores open 24 hours, seven days a week. There's poverty in the US too. People actually obey traffic rules. And people don't honk their horns in the car. What you see on TV may not be true. Many Americans have tattoos. And Americans eat a lot of pizza. Americans travel to see their families. New York Times Square is the most visited place. People trust their pets more than their family. They spend $600 for school opening per child. People eat donuts for school. And you leave 18% for your tip. Americans do a lot of volunteer work. They spend one billion for online dating. And 25% of marriages don't last. 97% of people say they're heterosexual. And you have two gener three generation families at home. And marriage is now overrated. 17% of Americans are single and want to stay single. 10% of Americans stay alone. And everyone has credit card debt. And Americans are mostly employed if they can find a job. And many people have guns. And Americans have retirement plans, about 50% of them. People spend one hour in the car every day. And people work night shifts as well. People donate a lot of money to charities. And Americans are on Facebook, 50%. Okay, people go online banking. KISS is what people search online. And 20% of home use cell phones only. 70% only use real regular phone. Okay, there are 1.5 trillion text messages every day. People read online news. And uh, average height of Americans is 5.9 for men, 5.7 for women. And Americans have uh, cardiovascular diseases and Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, 60 pounds of chicken eaten by each person a year, ice cream, Americans eat a lot of it, and they're 3% vegetarian Americans. Americans sleep 6.7 hours a day, and most people in prison are male, men, and high school students, 75 of them, cheated. And uh, people have tried marijuana, 16%. Americans spend 230 uh, trillion uh, billion dollars of, uh, for uh, medication, and smokers cut across all different uh, ethnic groups, mostly uh, European Americans. Drinking, half of Americans drink. Uh, people have cheated on their spouses. People believe in extraterrestrial. And you can communicate with the dead. Uh, Seven percent of anxiety disorder. One out of 5,000 make perfect score in the SAT exam. Uh, Americans are willing to have brain implant to go online. And uh, Americans eat a lot in the cars. Junk food everywhere. In uh, volunteer work, do a lot of sports. Uh, they own digital readers. They buy e-books, three e-books a month. And they don't like partners who become serious too fast and with baggage. Asian households tend to have highest median income. Richest people on both East and West. And women get lower salary, and they are 
poor people, and then there are people who are very fat, high blood pressure, uh, houses can be haunted, they believe in that. 25% believe in astrology, 24 believe in uh, ETs, in witches. And me American men don't want to date women who litter. And Americans trust the military more than their politicians. America is not the richest country per capita and not the most highest percentage of people using the internet and verbal cues now. So when people talk, these are the most important words. Hi, please, bye, and thank you. And when people say, how are you? You just say, fine, even if you're not. Don't give your life story. <laughs> yes means yes, no means no. But when people say, I'll think about it, it means no. <laughs> Remember, let's go for lunch means you pay for your own lunch. Really, translation, of course not. Good job means it's okay. Awesome means it's all right. That's interesting, not. I welcome challenges. This job sucks big time. You should attend training programs, you're not good. Maybe I can work like what? You think I don't have a life? I was not involved in that project. Means uh, deal with your own problem. I'll do my best to fit that task into my schedule. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I, I have too much work today. Translation, I'm only paid minimum wage. Don't let me do that. Okay? When women talk, these are some deadly terms. Fine means shut up. Nothing means be worried. This is, I got this from the internet. Huh? You can contest this. Go ahead means it's a dare. Don't go ahead. Whatever means go to hell. That's okay means you pay for your mistake. Wow means you're so stupid. Okay. So these are some words, you have to be careful. Huh? It's illegal to hurt somebody verbally or physically. If somebody hurts you, call the police. Uh, even if your friend does, don't stop the fight, call the police. And then uh, no one should be physically or mentally abused. Okay, if you're hurt, immediately call 911. No one should kill you, okay? Don't say your culture is best. Don't say your, other people's culture is best. But consider that a good and bad side to your culture and other people's culture. When you go home, don't go on and on and try to talk to people like you know everything. And don't pretend you're American. Don't think you are better than others when you go home. Don't be arrogant. Okay? Don't have a blanket hatred of the U.S. Okay? Respect men, respect women, respect the young, the old, gay and straight. People of all colors, workers, presidents. And so you've come from all over the world. You're not the U.S. Fly like an eagle, okay? Be proud of yourself. Don't fall off. I take the challenge and do your best. Thank you. So now we will have two groups. We'll have uh, current students now who will be doing two workshops. We'll divide the group into two. Everyone. On my half from here, please come to this side, from this part. Okay? Go to this side. And everyone from there, move to that side, please. We have two groups. And we'll have Sri, she's a doctoral student, she's almost done with her doctorate. And Ika, who's an undergraduate student, will take care of one workshop on my right. And then Dr. Oni, who's working on his second doctorate, who will be Dr. Dr. Oni. <laughs> With Marsha Chen, she will, uh, she's a doctoral candidate who will be on the other workshop on my left. So I uh, think we have too many people. Uh, those here, please, please join them. Por favor, silakan to see you. Je vous en prie, Okay, so we'll have two workshops going on, 15 minutes each. So Dr. Oni will be here and Marshall, Shri and Ika will be there. Five minutes and then... You said 10 minutes each. So it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes for both groups. Okay. For both
more minutes. Thank you.